morning everybody. So, today starts the day, is the first day of the secret project, which I haven't really told many people about. So, I'm going to be cleaning Skylar today, got the jet wash, and I'm going to be treating her rust spots. She's only got a few, one there, a little one there. What else have we got around here? There's one right up the top there. Then there's one here, and then one on this wheel arch. So, I'm going to treat all her rust spots, get all the primer on, and get her ready to be painted. So we're going to paint her this weekend, so today is prep day. So I'll set you up, you can see what we get up to. chiseled off and um, then I've used emery cloth to sand it down you can see that there's a bit around the back here as well up there both of those and all this down here um, and then after the emery cloth we've used nail polish remover to clean it all down there as well and then some cur rust to treat the rust and that's now drying so we've got to leave that to dry you can see all the patches up there and um then we can put the primer on it and then it's ready for me to take it up and give it a paint so i will um, show you us priming it in a bit once it's all dried we get to record today is paint day so I've got Skylar in the unit and we're going to prep her so sand all of her down um, this bottom part from here downwards is going to be black so I think we're going to do this bit first um, and then we'll go and get onto the roof and get the rest of her done so this is what she looks like now and soon she'll look very different to say I'm nervous is uh, an understatement. I kind of didn't really sleep very well last night, but I'll show you what we're using. We're going to be using the Raptor um, Tintable Secret Colour. And um, we've got to mix it up. So we've got six packs, I'm not sure how many we're going to use. Six packs of the Tintable, one pack of the black, and we're going to do two coats. So uh, we'll wait and see how it goes. I'm going to prop you up and most of this is just going to be us doing it but I might talk in between but I just don't have that much time so I want to focus on getting it done.
Right, so, all sanded, all washed. We've just literally finished up um, masking tape in this because we're gonna start with painting this bit and below all the way around black. So that is the first um, thing we're gonna be painting. So we've got to wipe this down, um, degrease it, etc., and then we can start painting. And then we need to do two coats of the black before we can start on the other color. So you'll be seeing us doing the black. places but some bits look really good like the front bumper here looks so good so we now have to leave this for an hour to dry and then we can do the second coat and that will be today it's a bit done so I think what we're gonna do now is mask and tape up everywhere else so that when we can come in tomorrow we can take off the masking tape that was for the black, put some masking tape down over the black, and paint the colour on. That face mask gave me such a sore nose, so mean. But even if I was just going to keep her white and have a black bottom, I think she looks sick. <laughs> Look, I love it. Just looks so much better. ready to start painting um she's all masked up the black is looking sick and we're gonna be getting her to her lovely new color i'm super excited so i'm gonna set you up you'll be able to watch us do whatever we do and um hopefully it goes well fingers crossed so, not painting her today because the idiot at Automotive Paint Supplies in Southampton gave me the wrong colour. Even after I colour matched the right colour, he told me the colour code. I've got the colour code written down. He then told his colour guy the colour code to make up and it's the wrong colour. I even know it's the wrong colour now when I look on here. But if when I was in the the company's unit, the guy called out the right number and didn't they didn't ask me to check the number or check the colour or anything. And so now I've wasted time. I've wasted money because I've had to cancel work. And I'm gonna have to stay and do this hopefully tomorrow. But I'm gonna have to drive all the way down to get the colour and the paint so I'm not very happy but hopefully they make it right because it's gonna be on YouTube and I'll let them know about that this is the only way I can make myself feel better so I'm gonna go eat for the rest of the day now because there's nothing else I can do so yeah hopefully see you tomorrow with the right color paint Good morning. 
morning. It's day three of painting the van. And I've just driven, not me, Dwayne. He just drove two hours to Newbury and two hours back just so we could get the right color. So I thought I'd show you the difference in the color they gave me to the color I actually wanted. You're welcome. And everyone can see. <laughs> I said thank you. Um, and everyone can see why I was like, no, I'm not painting it that color. So this is the color they gave me. Now that's, it looks so different on this camera, look. Now it, it, it looks greener in person, this, doesn't it? Yep. But this is the color they gave me. This is the color I wanted. Very, very, very different. But this is the right color, so we're gonna get painting. Hopefully we can get like one or two coats done today. Dwayne's gonna be the roof guy. Say hey Dwayne. Hey Dwayne. <laughs> He's my uh, sexy helper. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Can you do a sexy dance? On a ladder, yeah, sure. Go on. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some music on and we're gonna paint the van. I shall show you what it looks like. Yeah, it's about uh, an hour later now. We still haven't started painting because it's going to find some weight scales. So we have to do 10, 5%, either 5% or 10% with this paint in. So we're going to weigh it because then every single bottle of tintable will end up being exactly the same weight of the colour in the pot. We went to about five different shops before we found one that had a weighing scale. <laughs> so, take two. Wait, no, this is like take, take three. Four. four. Yeah. Take, take four. four. We're gonna go get, get on with it.
taken uh, four hours for one whole coat and I've not even used one box of my Raptor yet so six boxes were quite a lot of paint <laughs> don't think I'm gonna need the six boxes anyway let's show you what Skylar looks like so far now Oh, it actually doesn't look too bad in this. Uh, I keep taking photos and every photo, the color looks different. But this is what she looks like. Oh. We did this bumper and the top bit first. So we're just about to start doing the second coat and it's nearly 5.30. Wish us luck. most definitely needs coat number three. So, coat number three has got to be tomorrow morning. Right early. <laughs> but now, let's go home. Stop smelling like paint. I've got this on still because it's super smelly in here and it's cold. Um, and so none of the doors are all windows are open. So um, yeah, <laughs> dad's loving the smell. Um, so tomorrow, final coat potentially. <laughs> I hope. Odor raptor this is. 
Day four. Uh, we're on to coat number three, as you can see. She's looking good, but ignore them talking. Uh, it's a bit patchy, as you can now see. We're getting closer. You see the patchiness. So we're off to do coat number three on day number four. I'm slightly tired and I did have a moment yesterday where I thought why did I decide to paint her but when walking into the unit this morning and seeing her I knew instantly that I made the right decision because she looks amazing so set you up you can see what we go up to it's gonna be another long day I think Two loads of coats. Um, so this is what she looks like um, down there, and this is just a little last little coat. Hopefully, this will be the last one. I'm tired. I'm done. I don't want to paint anymore. <laughs> but it is worth it because she looks amazing. I'm not many fans of this colour. Right. is finished. She's looking so good. So I need to just put her bump back in, but She can really look different colours in lots of different lights. Just looks amazing so that's it her painted four coats of raptor we went through how many boxes what? of raptor three boxes of raptor yeah. yeah we went through three boxes of raptor i bought six so three boxes of tintable raptor and two bottles of black so i actually bought one box of black so we've got two boxes of black left over and a ton of turquoise. <laughs> 
plus the other paint that I was mistakenly given, which is why I'm still doing this now. Um, but she has come out fantastically. The way that the turquoise looks against the black is just so good. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it was a long one, but it was totally and utterly worth it. And thank you for watching because this last few days with this painting has been a total roller coaster and safe to say probably don't want to do it again <laughs> but it was definitely worth it so make sure you subscribe because i'll be doing another video about something else not as crazy <laughs> i promise you lots more to finish on her